Hi, I'm Marcus Holtzinger, and I run the Vision, Autonomy, and Decision Research Lab in the N and HJ Speed Aerospace Engineering Sciences Department at the University of Colorado in Boulder. What is our lab mission? Our lab endeavors to ensure that rules-based norms of behavior and responsible activity prevail in the space domain. Commercial space is taking our economy to the moon and beyond. The United States Space Force has been formed to deter aggressive actions in space. The Department of Commerce has been charged with forming a civil space traffic management service. Engineering is the application of science and mathematics to benefit society. How can we improve our understanding of what's happening on orbit? How can we help decision makers? How can we ensure that space benefits humanity? We live in amazing transformational times. Our lab answers this call with rigorous mathematical empirically driven research, always with an eye towards benefiting society. What problems does our lab address? Well, our lab performs astronautics research on space domain awareness, civil space traffic management, space policy, and space strategy topics. Among many specific areas, our lab research includes space infrastructure architecture design, multi-objective sensor tasking, detection, tracking, and characterization of objects in space, measurement association and orbit determination, operations in and around the moon, astrography, the study of space geography, optimal trajectory design, understanding and quantifying Earth orbit as a resource, and informing space policy and strategy. How do we address these problems? In our research, we apply a theory to hardware framework. That means that research in our lab proves theorems, engages in simulation, writes software, and tests our algorithms on hardware. Students and postdocs get experience in all of these things. They also write papers, present them at conferences, often winning awards, and refine them into journal articles. We also engage with policymakers to inform how astronautics can improve our nation's prosperity and security. Let's listen to our lab members explain what they do and why they do it in their own words. Hi, my name is Kunit Din and I've been a PhD student at CU Boulder since August 2022. I'm co-advised by Marcus Holzinger and Dan Shira, so I'm a member of both the Vader Lab and the CSML. I went to the University of Southern California for both my bachelor's and master's degrees in astronomical engineering, and the background that I've gained from internships includes cislinear space, trajectory design and optimization, and space of awareness. I'm still mostly taking classes in the first year, but my research is about generalizing invisible region theory to cislinear space to expand initial orbit determination capabilities. The admissible regions problem is well defined for planetary dynamics, but extending it to the food body problem is a very challenging but also super relevant and really exciting topic to be working on. I'm also interested in applications of optimization and optimal control theory to space domain awareness. Outside of work, I really enjoy social dancing, particularly West Coast Swing. I also enjoy playing video games, and I'm currently learning how to rollerblade. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. I'd love to talk to you. My name is Ava Evans. I'm a first year PhD student under Drs. Marcus Holzinger and Dan Shears. I just came from Penn State with a bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering, where I did my undergrad thesis on optimizing a rendezvous sequence for a refueling tanker that's going around and visiting numerous satellites in geosynchronous Earth orbit. And this past summer, I was an intern with Boeing at their Mission Control Center out in California, where we looked at how to develop propellant budgets and trajectory design for numerous commercial space launches. And I'm just starting my research, so I've got a bit of a ways to go and planning to get there. But our main objective that we're looking at is how to characterize and map trajectories and transfers in cislinear space. So initially starting in the three body problem with the Lagrange points in the Earth Moon system and transferring into GEO, we'll expand that out into different regions and orbits in the Earth Moon system, as well as shifting that into the four body problem. Along the way, we'll use multi-objective optimization to look at time constraints as well as fuel costs. And one thing I'd like to address is why I chose to come to CU Boulder. Upon visiting the campus, I found that all of the students and the faculty were open and willing to answer any of the questions that I had. I could sit down with them and just talk for an hour. 
And so everyone here you'll find is very open-minded, engaged, and enthusiastic about their research and what they do. My name is Sam Fettler. I'm a fifth year PhD candidate in the lab. I joined the lab in fall 2018 uh, after getting a bachelor's in physics and computer science from NC State University. My research focuses are in the areas of state estimation and decision theory. Uh, and really I've looked at a variety of problems in these contexts. Uh, largely I'm focused on sensor tasking for ground-based and cislinear observers. Um, and especially recently, we've looked at maneuvering objects there. I've also spent a significant amount of time looking at the problem of admissible regions and looking at follow-up observation on initial uh, guesses on tracks. Um, I'll finish my PhD thesis looking at decentralized decision-making and am expected to graduate in summer 2023. Hi everyone, my name is Casey Heydrich. I'm a research associate in the Colorado Center for Astrodynamics Research here at CU, uh, working with Professor Holzinger in the Vision, Autonomy, and Decision Research Lab. As a recent graduate of the program, I can highly recommend the Aerospace Sciences Department at CU, and in particular, the research taking place in our lab. Our lab practices theory to hardware design. In short, that means our focus extends from theoretical algorithm development all the way to experimental validation on real optical hardware. There are opportunities in our lab to apply rigorous theory to data from real satellites and astrometric data taken directly from the observatory on the top of our building. Space domain awareness has important implications for sustainability, safety, and exploration of space beyond near-Earth orbits. The continuing output of our lab is expected to support space exploration and national security in cislunar space. Shown here are a few examples of recent efforts in my research. The first involves initial orbit determination for non-Keplerian dynamics, such as the circular restricted Earth-Moon system. This means that the analytical two-body solutions break down and the traditional orbit determination approach is not applicable. So my work is developing new solution methodologies for these highly sensitive nonlinear systems over a very long measurement epochs. Another area of research in our lab, uh, shown below, involves the characterization of spacecraft behavior from sparse datasets. In many SDA applications, the target of interest is an uncooperative space object, meaning that we have very limited knowledge of its capability and intent. Our work seeks to identify nominal conops and patterns of life for spacecraft using limited terrestrial observing assets. Further, our work is developing machine-aided, uh, machine learning-aided algorithms to identify anomalous or novel operational modes. So uh, our lab is an exciting opportunity for those interested in space domain awareness and related research fields. The work we do directly impacts future accessibility and safety in space and involves a wide range of disciplines from optimization, estimation, and physics. So thanks for listening and feel free to contact me with any questions. Hi, I'm Michael Klauski. I'm a second year PhD student here at CU Boulder. Um, I am originally from Wisconsin uh, with an undergraduate degree from St. John's University in Minnesota, um, a Bachelor of Arts in Physics and Mathematics. Um, my background so far here in the Innovator Lab um, focuses a lot on cislunar development um, using machine learning al algorithms nonlinear estimation techniques, um, all under the general umbrella of space domain awareness. Um, my research interests uh, currently are in optimal cislunar architecture design, um, so finding optimal combinations of different observers and various cislunar orbits to maximize some number of objective functions. Um, this coming year, I'll be getting into more of the game theoretic cislunar development in order to see, uh, model the interactions between um, uh, different entities within cis inner space and an architecture in cis inner space. Uh, my hobbies and interests here in Boulder um, include cycling, skiing, um, playing music, uh, hiking and, and scrambling, and uh, saying hi to every dog that I pass on walks. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. My email is below, thanks.
Hi, my name is Garrick Lau. I'm a third year PhD student working with Marcus Holzinger in the Vision Autonomy and Decision Research Lab. Before I started my PhD program, I was working in industry for about six years. Before that, I had gotten my bachelor's and master's from Cornell University. While in industry, I worked uh, on a lot of things, primarily on attitude determination and estimation. Uh, I worked a lot on, uh, with comma filters. Uh, since I started my program here, I've actually had the opportunity to work on a few different research topics. I first worked on uh, missile regions, and then I worked on a decision-making tool called Judicial Evidential Reasoning. My current research has a lot of focus on optimization, optimal control, and reachability. Um, there's also a uh, focus on metric spaces, topological spaces, and geographic representations of trajectories, particularly in cis lunar space. All of this is moving towards a focus on space policy. Um, there's a lot of things that the this lab is working on. Um, there's a, a primary focus on space domain awareness and, and tools and, and research topics that will add to that realm, but even things that are tangential to space domain awareness, as you might be able to tell from my research focus on space policy, uh, are research topics that that we we do cover in our lab. Um, if you have any questions, uh, you can contact me at my uh, Colorado uh, email uh, here at the bottom. My name is Katie Melbourne, and I have been working as a PhD student in Dr. Holzinger's lab since June 2021. I also am a full-time employee at Ball Aerospace, so I'm kind of in a unique situation there. But my background is astrophysics, actually. I got a BS from Yale and moved to Colorado to work in the industry, but decided that I would really make an impact most of my career in space by studying space domain awareness. So at my time in Ball, at Ball, I worked on the James Webb Space Telescope and the alignment process for that, and now I work on a national defense effort, effort in space domain awareness. Um, I'm also interested in space policy and diplomacy. As a result, I'm still taking classes, but um, as I start to get more and more into research, I'm interested in uh, applying game theory and economic auction theory to understanding the how we can autonomously maneuver uh, satellites and perform negotiations for that. Um, so I'll be getting more and more in, into that over the next year or so as I enter my third year. Uh, and outside of class and work, I'm interested in backpacking, hiking, I run a lot, and I really enjoy board games and reading. So, thank you. My name is Mark Murdo, a postdoc in the Data Lab. Prior to working with Dr. Holzinger, I earned my bachelor's in aerospace engineering and astronomy from the University of Maryland. I also earned my PhD uh, at the University of Colorado, um, working with Dr. McMahon. Uh, my research background is in orbit determination, orbit averaging, and planetary science. And my research interests within the Vader Lab are the optical detection and tracking of a really dim low signal to noise ratio targets, um, as well as orbit determination. You can see in the GIF uh, a particle filter converging on and tracking uh, one of those really dim targets across a sequence of images. Uh, really interested in kind of the overlap um, and intersection of the fields of aerospace engineering and planetary science, and particularly in the Vader Lab, really interested in the similarities between space situational awareness um, and planetary science and kind of leveraging the expertise in both fields to benefit both. Hello, my name is Karina. I'm a fifth year PhD student here at CU Boulder, and I've been working at the Vader Lab under the supervision of Dr. Holzig. I do hold a master's degree from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, where I had the opportunity to work on feedback control methods for autonomous quadcopters. And during my PhD studies, I've been working with station keeping control methods and optimal control theory. My most recent work involves studying optimal station keeping locations for orbits in system lunar space. So here I have an example for an L2 
NRH ball and an L2 Lyapunov of orbit to find optimal combinations for orbit maintenance. So the goal of these maps is to find the combinations of maneuver location and cost duration that will fall within the least sensitive regions of this plot. The least sensitive regions are denoted by this dark blue color and a high sensitive region which is denoted by this light green color. So by choosing locations that fall within this region for the L2, for example, or for the L2 NRHO in this region, I'm choosing results that will be not only fuel efficient, but will also reduce the tracking error in my orbit. And last but not least, some of my hobbies include stop motion and anything that has to do with arts and crafts. I'm excited that you're considering CU Boulder and the Vader Lab for your PhD studies. If you have any questions about the university, the lab, or my research, please feel free to reach me at my Colorado email. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ben Schmachtenberger, and I'm a first-year PhD student here in Dr. Holzinger's lab. Uh, I'm also a full-time employee at the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Lab in the space exploration sector at Laurel, Maryland. My background includes degrees in physics and math with a master's in applied math and a master's in aerospace engineering as well. Um, my research interests include anything that involves the cross-section between physics and rigorous mathematical modeling with aerospace engineering applications, which is why I was drawn to Dr. Holzinger's lab in the first place. Currently, I'm focused on uh, cislunar applications and pretty much anything there within, uh, anything from astrodynamics and trajectory design to space situational awareness and how to achieve that. I'm focused right now on cislunar reachability, which means uh, given a starting spot or a starting orbit, uh, a certain time and a certain spacecraft, uh, where could you reach? How far could you go and where could you reach? And it's, that's a fun problem. Future interests include uh, autonomous systems, sort of uh, human design aided by machine learning or using computers to do design with human input is, a, is an interesting topic to me, as well as decentralized decision making. I'm also interested in leveraging new sensing techniques um, and sort of novel image processing and analysis algorithms too. Those are, those are always fun for me to, to look into. All is to say that uh, all my interests have an eye towards uh, helping push humanity out further into space and sort of a manned presence uh, beyond our own Earth and beyond just the ISS, but sort of a, a sustained presence on the moon or near the moon and pushing that further out. And I'm excited to get started working on that. Thank you. Hello, my name is Liam. I joined the lab in fall 2021. I started my career at Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo where I received both my master's and bachelor's degrees in aerospace engineering. At Cal Poly, I worked in the CubeSat lab developing both the Peapod CubeSat deployer as well as our own CubeSats. I then spent five years as a research scientist at Lockheed Martin's Advanced Technology Center working on projects that include ground-based SSA, trajectory optimization, orbit determination, I was even a telescope operator on Mauna Kea in Hawaii for a while, and more cool things like that. In 2020, I then joined Amazon's Project Kuiper as a flight dynamics engineer to develop, deploy, and operate Amazon's constellation of more than 3,000 satellites in low Earth orbit, and I continue to work at Amazon while pursuing my PhD. My experience has led me to develop a deep interest in space sustainability and space traffic management. I hope to further our understanding as an industry and contribute to the safe and responsible use of space as a resource. I think my unique role as both a constellation operator and a space sustainability researcher will lead to a unique perspective that will be critical to developing sustainable practices that are rooted in first principles and ultimately can inform policymakers on how to effectively regulate space in a way that both fosters innovation and preserves space safety for all who want to operate satellites. Are you interested in impacting how humanity expands into space? Do you enjoy working with astrodynamics, controls, estimation, math, programming, and hardware? Are you conscientious, hardworking, and hungry? Do you want to be part of a lab that helps make this happen while enjoying the beautiful outdoors? 
Well, that's what we're all about. Come talk to us.